How do animals prefer to be petted? It's a question that has stumped many pet owners for centuries, but science now has an answer. In this video, we'll discuss exactly where and how your furry friends prefer to be stroked and where they would rather you keep your hands off. Part 1. How to Pet a Cat Cats see petting as akin to grooming or licking, which happens between two friendly felines. Most cats prefer being touched around the regions where their facial scent glands are located. This includes the base of their ears, under their chin, and around their cheeks. This kind of petting mimics the kind of grooming cats do by licking one another. A study published in 2015 in the Journal of Applied Animal Behavior Science found that cats show more positive behavioral responses, like purring or kneading, when they are pet between the eyes and ears. And they display more negative responses, like hissing, swatting, or swishing their tails, when they are pet around their tummy, back, and base of their tail. Yes, that's right, cats don't actually enjoy being stroked at the base of their tail. At least that was the case for most of the 54 cats in this study. Researchers believe that a cat's tail area is an erogenous zone, and petting this part of their body may overstimulate them. The common mistake that we humans make when it comes to meeting a new cat is that we assert our touch on top of them. Cats need plenty of personal space, and if you go up to the cat, corner them, and then try to pet them to win them over, chances are they will move away. The key to success is to provide the cat with as much choice and control as possible during interactions. Let them be on their terms. Instead of insisting them to accept your touch, gently offer your non-threatening fingertip at their nose level. Let them walk up and sniff or investigate your finger, and chances are, you may even get a cheek rub against your finger. Lucky you! That's basically a cat's way of greeting you. And always let the cat make the first move. Research has shown that human interactions with cats last longer when the cat, rather than the human, initiates them. It's also very important to pay close attention to the cat's posture and behavior during interactions to ensure they are comfortable. Cats in particular can be very sensitive to touch and will try to tell you via body language if they're okay with being stroked. Purring is almost always a good sign, but a lowered tail, ears rotating backwards, or hissing are signs that it's time to stop. A happy cat will be relaxed and may even rub their cheeks on your hand to encourage you to continue. Sadly, the social behavior of cats, and especially their interactions with humans, is very misunderstood. Most cats prefer high-frequency but lower-intensity interactions, whereas most people prefer interactions that last for a longer period of time. So it's best to pet your cat frequently, but only for a short time each time. Part 2. How to Pet a Dog A study published in the Journal of Veterinary Behavior found that dogs show more signs of stress like yawning, freezing, lip licking, or elevated heart rates when they are pet on the head, muzzle, shoulder, or paws. Petting on the chest, however, is associated with a decrease of heart rate and is more calming to a dog. Nevertheless, many dogs are comfortable with any types of interactions, even with strangers, because they're used to being around people. New research has revealed that dogs show more interest in petting when it is accompanied with praise. If you want to make your dog feel extra good when petting them, talk to them while you stroke them. Tell them how much you love them and how good of a dog they are. You may feel embarrassed to talk to your dog in a high-pitched, baby-like voice, but your dog will actually like it. Studies have shown that dogs are more likely to want to spend time with a person who uses dog-directed, high-pitched sound. In the canine world, higher-pitched noises, such as whines, are non-threatening, but lower, deeper notes are considered threatening. This is because large, aggressive animals vocalize at a lower pitch. And studies using MRI scanner have shown that dogs understand a little bit more about human speech than we think. Dogs are incredibly attentive animals. Notice how whenever you talk to your canine, they look at you as if they're listening? You generally don't get that with any other pet like rabbit or cat. Even monkeys don't look at us when we speak. And when dogs tilt their head when we speak, it's them trying to understand what we're saying. So talking to your dog using your dog voice while petting them is a great way to show them you love them. The essential finding is that dogs love and need petting. It reduces their heart rate, lowers their blood pressure, and increases a bonding hormone in them called oxytocin. Dogs get a secure feeling when you pet them. It helps them know that you still love them and care for them. 
your soft touch, and the gentle petting reaffirm many things about your relationship, and it makes them feel safe and happy. And you probably have noticed that when you scratch your dog's belly, they start kicking their back leg. This movement is an involuntary reaction called scratch reflex. It's much like the knee-jerk reflex that occurs when the doctor taps below your knee. Although it may seem funny to see your dog jerking their back leg, this involuntary kicking response may be irritating to them. Some people think that rubbing this spot on a dog's belly is what they want, but in most cases, dogs would prefer to lie next to you and receive gentle touches on the chest instead. Just like in humans, a good massage should evoke relaxation and not rapid, involuntary movements. When petting a new dog, reach in from the side rather than moving your hand over the top of the dog's head. Some canines may see bending over them as a threat and get scared. The best way to initiate contact with a new dog is to hold your hand out flat and let the dog sniff it. The one thing you should never do is immediately start petting a dog's head. This may be seen as a dominant, aggressive gesture. And pay attention to the dog's body language during interactions. Signs the dog is not enjoying it include yawning, looking away, or licking the nose or lips. Also keep an eye on the tail. If it is lowered or tucked between the legs, they are not very happy. On the contrary, if the dog is leaning against you, it's a good sign they are enjoying it. In dogs, leaning is a sign of comfort and love. Think of it as a dog hug. Part 3. How to Pet a Rabbit In the wild, rabbits groom each other to keep each other clean, comfort their friends, and show they care about one another. Rabbits see petting as akin to grooming, which happens between two friendly bunnies. When you pet your rabbit, you're telling them you care about them. It's the most direct way to tell your little pet you love them. The best places to pet rabbits are their foreheads and behind their ears. They also love getting strokes down the back or around the shoulders. With that said, they dislike being touched on their bottom, feet, stomach, or tail. Some rabbits may lick you while you pet them. This is a rabbit's way to pet you back. They may even softly nudge your hand to demand to be groomed. This means that your rabbit wants you to pet her. Part 4. How to Pet a Guinea Pig Most guinea pigs don't like being touched on their rear end. They prefer to be petted on the nose, under the chin, or behind the ears. But try to keep your hands away from their butt. This is especially true with male guinea pigs. Touching their butt is an act of dominance, and they don't like being dominated. Only hold a guinea pig for around 15 minutes at a time because they pee every 15 minutes and will start to feel uncomfortable as they try to hold it. Most short-haired guinea pigs dislike it when you stroke their fur backwards. Final Thoughts Remember that every animal is an individual. They will have their own preferences about where and how they like to be stroked, and some are more tolerant than others. Make sure to pay attention to their body language to ensure they are comfortable.